Whoa. Bim, guess what? Day vlog 23. Oh, I have no idea. And, uh, yeah, try to, well, try to get the car booked in for an MLT. Can't do it till tomorrow. So I'm going to take the car tomorrow for an MLT. Um, and I'm trying to figure out what my mental health is like. And I'm not sure. I don't think I'm depressed. I know I'm bored. But I can't motivate me to, myself to do anything, which is weird. Um, because when you work for yourself, you have to motivate yourself, otherwise nothing gets done. But when you can't work, i.e. for getting on now for uh, four weeks, more than four weeks, no, about four weeks. Um, because we went into tier four, remember, first, so we had to shut for that. Then it does make things like, what is the point, kind of thing. And I tried to get my sleep pattern back last weekend. That didn't work. Um, tried to do this, that, and the other. Obviously, we had the funeral this week as well, yesterday, and that didn't help. Um, so, yeah. I don't think... I don't think I'm bad. I think I'm just bored. Um, I'm kind of hoping the weather improves a bit, so maybe I can go for a walk or something, because I don't... I, I, I like walking, but I don't like walking when it's raining. I don't mind walking when it's cold. I just don't like walking when it's raining. I don't like getting wet. Yeah, some people might say I'm wet already. Thanks. <laughs> but that's beside the point. Uh, I did discover a new game last night, although it's not technically a new game, but uh, I do intend to finish it, and it was Little Nightmares. So I had a go on that for a, a few hours. And that was quite good fun, actually. Kind of brought the day up from the stresses from earlier. Um, which was weird, because... Although... I knew the guy whose funeral it was. I wouldn't say we were like, you know, bezies or anything like that. We were good mates, but, you know, we weren't bezies. Um, but it, it still affected me more than I thought it would do. Um, but that's COVID for you, isn't it? So I just need to rebalance things up and get things sorted. It looks like we're going to be like this for... Like, until, well, they're saying 8th of March now for school's going back, and I think they've got to give us at least a month when schools go back for shops to open again, otherwise we'll be back square one again. So I'm looking, it looks like we're gonna, it's going to be at the earliest the end of March, but more than likely sometime in April when we uh, actually get back to being open again. In the meantime, shops are disappearing left, right and centre. I found out today that Boohoo, who bought uh, Debenhams, um, I know we're only doing them online, not doing them uh, on the high street, uh, are also buying Burton's and Dorothy Perkins and Miss Selfridges and doing exactly the same thing. So those shops are going to disappear as well. And as we saw on Monday, uh, Top Man has already shut down in Wigan. There's just nothing there now apart from uh, mannequins, naked mannequins. Um, so, yeah, it's all a bit doom and gloom at the minute. But not to worry. Boris went to Scotland and that went down well. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm going now. Um, I will see you tomorrow. I'll let you know how we get on with the car. Wish me luck. MLTs, it's like... It's a worrying time in MLT because you're like, oh God, what are they going to do to my car? What are they going to do to my car? So then you, and then will it pass? Will it pass its test? It's like having a kid doing an exam. It's uh, it's quite nerve wracking. But anyway, fingers crossed, it won't cost me too much. Um, so, yep, I'll see you tomorrow for the next the vlog. Until then, bye! <laughs>